dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Welcome to Tiger Zen with Brendan Bohr and Ashton Soto, bringing you time in second game of the season. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your time in Tigers. All right.
So we're getting ready for tip off here. Time had a great game versus Bennett. Home opener. Two home games in a row. Looks like Nakai Harris is going to be on the tip off. And Tremir Gale for Niagara Falls. All right, so here we go. Timon wins the tip off. And Joey and Sarah has it. He passes it off to Jacob Humphrey. Jacob Humphrey passes it to Jaden Harrison. Mikey, Mikey Gibson has it to Jacob Humphrey. Joey and Sarah back. Oh, with the missed shot attempt by Nakai Harris. All right, it is a pass in for Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls getting ready to pass it in here. Niagara Falls passes it in number two. Nick Estelle. John Strong has the ball for Niagara Falls. John Strong passes it. Time in Jacob Humphrey. Oh. It is off. Oh, it is Niagara Falls ball. Number zero for Niagara Falls passing in John Strong. Hyman is trying to start off the game with a lot of momentum. Jacob Humphrey on the coverage. Number two for Nick Estelle with the ball for Niagara Falls. He passes it off. Number zero for John Strong. Pass it off to number 10. And it is good for, Niagara it is a good Falls. shot for two for Niagara Falls. Oh, it is a travel call on Jacob, Humph on Jacob Humphrey. John Strong to pass it in. Joey and Sarah is in the game. Checked in. Number two for Niagara Falls. Nick Estelle with the ball. And it was a pass in deep in the back. And it is going to be out on Niagara Falls. Jacob Humphrey to pass it in. Makai Harris got the pass in, passes it back to Jacob Humphrey. Pass it to Joey and Sarah. Oh, uh, and it is a, a oh. missed pass. A little Jayden miscommunication Harris. from Jacob, or Jaden Harrison and Joey and Sarah are there. Looks like Nick Estelle with the ball. Pass it to John Strong. John Strong for two. Oh, but he misses off. the mid range. Niagara Falls gets the rebound. Nick Estelle going for two. And oh, it it's off. missed. There's but a whistle a with the foul. I mean, I get time, and it is an early game for them. I mean, it, it is a 145 game, but they are still tr coming out with a lot of energy. Yeah, and it looks like there's going to be a lot of fouls tonight, just like there was versus Bennett. And it was just off there. One more attempt for Nick, Nick Asell. He's going for his second shot. And 
It is just oh. off again. Jacob Humphrey driving down the court, and it is in, in for two points. And he has a chance to make it a three-point play. Jacob Humphrey at the foul shot line. This first one is just off. Nick Estelle with the ball for Niagara Falls. He is driving down the court. Oh, and he bumps Mike into Gibson Jacob steals Humphrey. the ball. Oh, and it is a foul. On uh, Nakai Harris, it looks like. Yes, Nakai Harris is going to take his foul shots here. Kai is shooting for two. This could put them in the lead here. And, and it does. does. He's going to take his second shot here. And it is his second shot is good also. I wonder what I wonder what Coach Jason Rowe has it has in his arsenal for Timon. Jaden. Harrison on the cover there. Passes it off to John Strong. John Strong driving down the court. Oh, and a little mix up. Somehow Niagara Falls gets the ball back there and for three it isn't just off. John Strong with the ball. And it is travel a travel on Niagara Falls. It's going to be Timon's ball here. Jacob Humphrey passing it into Nakai Harris. He passes it back to Jacob Humphrey. Pass it to Nakai Harris. Joey and Sarah. Mike Gibson. Back to Nakai Harris. Jaden Harrison or for Jayden two. Harrison. There we go. John Strong with the ball for Niagara Falls. Passes it to John Strong again. And it is blocked by Jacob Humphrey. For a deep three, and it is just off Jacob Humphrey. Oh. oh. And it there is. is a foul on Niagara Falls, it looks like. There's a lot of early uh, free throw attempts for Timon. Most of the points here are from free throws. Other than that, um, Jaden Harrison. Put up. All right, so he's going to take two shots here, it looks like. And his first shot is just oh. off. Jacob Humphrey going for a second shot, and it is good. In. Timon with a five point lead here. Timon needs to set up like Nick, to Nick Estelle with the ball for Niagara Falls. He's driving down the court. Timon needs to Deep three set and it up is just off again. Wall. Jacob Humphrey driving down the court. Pass it to Joey and Sarah. Pass it to Nakai Harris. Harris for three. It is good. Ten to two. Timon in the lead. And it is a timeout. Time by Niagara Falls. There is a good amount of Niagara Falls fans in the crowd tonight, or today. The time and student section is starting to fill up there, too. All right, so time is looking pretty good right now. I wonder what Coach Jason Rowe is 
talking to the Tigers about. Maybe getting a little bit more rebounds because Niagara Falls is getting some crazy rebounds out there that does not look like they should be able to get those. And also uh, take advantage of these fouls. Yeah, they are getting a lot of points off of the fouls that Niagara Falls is putting on them. All right. Time is coming out of their huddle there. And Niagara Falls is coming out also. All right, so here we go. All right, so it looks like the same lineup is out there as before. They didn't switch any players up. All right. Niagara Falls coming out with the ball. Pass it to John Strong. John, pass it back to Nick Estelle. Back to John Strong. Goes up. Jo Another rebound by Niagara Falls. And it seems to be a foul on number 12, Joey and Sarah. All right, so Niagara Falls is going to be at the line there. John Strong to pass it in. John Strong passing at the line. Niagara Falls needs to find some momentum. All right, it is up. It is oh. off. Oh, Mike Gibson with the rebound. Jaden Harrison has the ball. Goes up. And it uh. is off. They get the rebound and put it in for it two points. In. Timon is setting up a brick wall with the, with this defense, but Nick Niagara Estelle Falls with the ball is just getting these rebounds. Oh, stolen by Nakai, Nakai Harris. Harris. He puts it up for two. Fourteen to two, with two minutes and thirty seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Jacob Humphrey on the coverage. Pass it off to Rollins. Then to John Strong. And it there is a the foul ball. on Niagara Falls. All right, here. Jaden Harrison on the pass and pass it to Jacob Humphrey. Kai Harris with it going for a deep three and it is oh, just, off. just just off. Just over the rim there. John Strong with the ball passes it off. Rollins with it. Pass it to Nick Estelle. Oh, and it seems to be a foul on Mike Gibson. Alright, so. Yep, it is on Mike Gibson there. Damian Johnson is at the substitution line. Yeah, it looks like Damian Johnson is getting ready to come in the game here. Last game, he had some pretty good shot attempts. All right. Let's see if they can get their first one. All right. It is just off. They get the rebound, they oh, put it in for two. Oh, get it. Joey and Sarah to pass it in to Jaden Harrison. Jaden Harrison on the, with the ball. He passes it up to Nakai Harris. Joey, Joey and Sarah. Sarah. Oh. It is just off. Oh. Nakai Harris puts it up for two. With Nakai Harris with the put back. Niagara Falls driving it down the court. It is stolen by Nakai Harris. Puts it up to Take Jacob Humphrey. Humphrey. Oh, he tried to do the dunk. Jaden Harrison. There was a little miscommunication there, but lucky Jaden. Luckily, Jaden Harrison was there to make a play on the ball. It 
It looks like there's a foul on on timing for Jaden Harrison. Nakai Harris didn't like the call there. All right. Niagara Falls pass it into Nick Estelle. Jacob Humphrey on the coverage. Passes it up to Rollins. Timon steals it. Jacob Humphrey driving down the court. Puts it up. Oh, it is a travel call on Jacob Humphrey. That's going to give Niagara Falls the ball back. There seems to be a lot of like, Nick Estelle travel with the ball. Calls. Don't you think so? Yes. It's it's been rough with fouls tonight. Niagara Falls puts it up and it is in for two. 18 to eight. Time in the lead here by 10 with 36 seconds left. Let's see if time can put them together a little. Aaron Hicks has checked into the game. Well, the D3 is good, good. from Jaden Harrison. Harrison. All right, Aaron Hicks has checked into the game, and so has, I think, oh, Damian Johnson checked into the game. Just realized that. Oh, Jaden Harrison steals the ball, and it is and in for good. two. 23 to eight at the end of the first. 23 to eight. What do you think is Timon's conception of their offense? Are they doing uh do you think that they're uh doing good offensively? Yeah, they're looking good out there. They just need to limit fouls. Um with the travels. Yeah, they just if they limit fouls they should be good. And the defense held them to eight points in the first. If they keep doing what they're doing, they're looking pretty good out there. And Niagara Falls has made some good offensive plays. If their defense steps a little bit, they have a game here. Yeah, even though Niagara Falls scored first, it took them a while to get a second score on. And I noticed Timon left, I mean, the same, it was like the same lineup for the, almost the entire first quarter. They switched up towards the end a little bit, putting in Damian Johnson and Aaron Hicks. All right, Timon's coming back out here. Thank you to all those parents out there. Plenty of concession items, including Imperial Beach on sale in the main lobby. Come on up if you miss lunch. I wonder what Coach Jason Rowe is talking to. Damian Johnson and Aaron Hicks about. All right, so it's going to come out with the same lineup. Jacob Humphrey, Jaden Harrison, Damian Johnson, Aaron Hicks, and Nakai Harris are out there for Bishop Timon. And it is Niagara Falls ball with Rollins passing in it to Estelle. Still pass it back to Rollins. Number 11 there. Or number 14, Sanders, puts it up there. Jaden Harrison has the ball. Pass it off to Jacob Humphrey. And back to Jaden Harrison. Darian Gilmore on the cover. Damian it is Johnson just off from Damian Johnson. There's a little mix-up between Jane Harrison and Rollins, so it is Niagara Falls' ball. All right. Niagara Falls is going to pass it in here. Nick Estelle gets it, passes it back to Rollins. Rollins driving down the court, pass it to Nick Estelle. Going for a deep three. And it is off. Timon with the rebound, and it goes out on Timon. Damian Johnson was the last one to touch the ball. 
So it is Niagara Falls' ball. All right here. The Stell to pass it in. 12 has checked into the game. Gale for Niagara Falls. It is out on time again. again. All right, Niagara Falls is going to pass it in. A nice pass in there. Now right behind the three-point line. Gilmore for well. And there's a foul. On Timon again. And that seems to be on Damian Johnson. What is that, three fouls here in a row? That is two to start off the quarter. All right, passes it in. Going for it, and it is just off. Jaden Harrison for a deep three. Ooh. Oh, and it just hits the Rollins back of the gets the ball off the rebound, passes it. Rollins driving. He doesn't Just get it. And his rebound. By Nakai Harris. Jacob Humphrey to Damian Johnson. Damian Johnson for three. And it is. Oh, oh. almost in. It bounced off the backboard, came back down, and then almost went in there. So it is Niagara Falls' ball. I think the refs will count it as an out of bounds. Niagara Falls just needs to capitalize on this. And they, I mean, they'll be right back in this game. I mean, Timon is setting up a is definitely right now setting up a brick wall. John Strong for two. Jacob Humphrey almost lost the ball there. Nakai Harris going. Oh, oh, oh the put back attempt by Jaden Harrison was no good. Here comes Jane Harrison. Jane Harrison for two. Oh, oh, oh. oh almost a put back by Jacob Humphrey. All right, Niagara Falls gets the ball here. It is John Strong. Oh, no, that is Nick Estelle. Now that's John, John Strong, Strong for, for three. three. John Strong puts up his first three of the night. It is a timeout again. I think it was Bishop Timon. Let's see if Bishop Time in here subs anybody in. Even though Timon is in the lead, they still need to find something well to work with. Because right now they're working with that Jaden Harris and Jacob Humphrey, like, and uh, Nakai Harris trio right there. Yeah. Uh, Damian, yeah, Damian Johnson took a couple deep threes here. Hasn't gotten one yet. Let's see if he can get one here. In the next, in the last five minutes of the second quarter, and it is Aaron Hex. Is Aaron no. Hex is checking back into the game, so it is around the same. It's the same lineup here: Nakai Harris, Jacob Humphrey, Jaden Harrison, Damian Johnson, and Aaron Hicks for the Bishop Time and Tigers. Coach Weiser was talking to security there, it looked like. All right. Jacob Humphrey on the pass in for the Bishop Time and Tigers. Let's see if they can find passes some momentum. Damian Johnson passes it back. Jacob Humphrey. Jacob Humphrey with the ball. Jaden Jay Harrison. Harrison. Kai Harris has the ball to Jacob Humphrey. Out to Jaden Harrison. Ooh. Aaron Hicks has it. Oh. oh. Went what around the rim there. Just didn't get in. Jaden Harrison had it. Oh. Darian Gilmore knocks it out of Harrison's hands there. Number 31. And there's a little mix up between the ball between Aaron Hicks and number 13, Michael Taylor. So it's going to be Timon's ball with Aaron Hicks passing it in. 
Jacob Humphrey has the ball. Jacob Humphrey passes it to Jaden Harrison. Oh! Oh! oh and he just can't off. Quite get it. He dropped his defender, but he couldn't quite get the three. Nick Estelle with the ball here. Puss, puss. With the lob. And um, number 13 there, Michael, Michael Taylor. Taylor. With two, 23 to 17. All right, Michael Taylor, there's a foul on him. His second of the game. Nakai Harris on the pass in. No, they switched it out, Jacob Humphrey. That seems to be a smart move because Jacob Humphrey could produce some nice lobs in these passes. All right, let's see what Timon can do here. All right. Aaron Hicks puts oh, it up. Oh, it is intercepted by Rollins. And it is blocked. Oh, Niagara Falls gets the ball back. That is Rollins. And he puts it up. That was an easy two for Niagara Falls. Nikai Harris with the ball. Look Hands at the it. look at the comparison between Niagara Falls' bench and Timon's bench. Yeah, I mean Niagara Falls bench is getting hype out there. And Timon is looking like they just like lost a major battle. It's 23-19. Niagara Falls is coming back up a little bit. Let's see what Bishop Timon can do with the ball here. They take out Nakai Harris on the pass in again and put Jacob Humphrey in there. Jacob Humphrey to Nakai Harris. Jacob Humphrey has the ball. The screen by Joey and Sarah with the mid range jumper is no good. Oh, Joey and Sarah gets the ball back. Puts it up for two and it is Thanks, in. Man. 340 left in the half. Niagara Falls puts it up and it is just off. It looks like they got the rebound there and then Jacob Humphrey got it to bounce up in, in his hands. Pass it off to Nakai Harris for three. It, it is, is good. Good with the deep three from Nakai Harris. All right, it looks like Nick Estelle with the ball there for Niagara Falls. Oh, he Nikai slips. Harris has it. Oh, J Damian Jacob Johnson Humphrey got the ball down. back and put it up for two. Did you see that nasty fall by Damian Johnson? It looked like Nick Estelle slipped and lost the ball. And Timon got to capitalize on that. Oh. It is blocked by Joey and Sarah. Oh. oh, it is eight. They try to pass it up, and it was just a little too far over his head there. Two minutes and 45 seconds left in the half. Lands out of bounds. All right. Time and crowd is booing right now. And it is a, and it was a timeout. Just to clarify for you, for the viewers out there, we have Rollins passing it in. All right, back to Rollins. Damian Johnson on the coverage. Nick Estelle. Drive in and oh. it was just off Jaden Harrison with the rebound. Pass it up Joey to Joey and Sarah. Sarah. With Damian Johnson to Nakai Harris. Nakai Harris. Jacob Humphrey. And he can't quite get it in. Oh, 
It looked like Niagara Falls coach there wanted a foul, and they just didn't get it. They gave it to time in the refs. All right. Damian Johnson on the pass and pass it to Jacob Humphrey. Oh, with the dish out to Jaden Harrison. You have Damian Johnson over there. Jaden Harrison open. with the ball. There was a whistle by and the refs. And it's Timon's ball, but it's probably it's not. Pass into Nakai Harris. Back to Jacob Humphrey. Jaden Harrison. Oh, and he fakes out his defender. Jacob, Jacob Humphrey. Humphrey. Deep three. Oh, Ooh. he can't quit. Off Just the rim. short. Joey and Sarah on the coverage. And it is in. Mernicka Stell. All right, Jacob Humphrey. Has the ball. Passes it off to Nakai Harris. Back to Jacob Humphrey. Jaden Harrison for deep three, and it is in. 33 to 21. One minute left in the second. John Strong passes it off to Nick Estelle. Nick Estelle has the ball. Pass it off. To number 12, Gale. As he gets it in. But it, there is a but foul on number 12, Gale. So he is at the line. He's going to get two here. I mean, if you are on the... Gale for his first one, it is in. If I was saying to myself, if I was a player for Niagara Falls, I would probably think, don't let the time and student section get into my head. All right. Gail going for his second shot here. Tremere Gale. And it is off. Just short. Joey and Sarah on the rebound, it looked like. Jacob yep. Humphrey has it. J Jaden Harrison has it. The clock is running down here. To Damian Johnson, Damian Johnson for, for the three. Oh, uh, can't quite get it. All right. Niagara Falls just off, gets the rebound off the backboard, and it is in for two. 33 to 20. The clock is running down here. 27 seconds left. Here we go. Oh, it seems to be a, a personal foul. It was on time in there. You have John Niagara. Strong passing the in to Nick Estelle. Back to John Strong with 20 seconds left. Clock is running down here. John Strong. Back to Nick Estelle. Five seconds left on the clock. It seems to be a timeout by Niagara Falls here with five seconds left in the first half. They might, Niagara Falls might want to get a shot off so they can make this a semi-close game. I think five seconds is more than enough time to get a shot off here for Niagara Falls, whether they're going to go for a deep three or they're going to just go try to lay it up for two points and make it closer going into half. What do you think of timing so far? They're looking good out there. They did, um, their defense started to slow up a little bit, but I think they're looking very coordinated out there tonight or today. They are looking very well coordinated out there. Same with Niagara Falls. All right. All right. D 
deep pass in. They get it. And it Niagara wasn't. Falls looking for a f call there. They're not going to get it. The refs are going to give the ball to Tymon. And it w the clock never changed. Darian Gilmore was looking for a foul there, and they did not get it. So I think Tymon might just dribble it out, or they might go for a quick shot. See if they could extend their lead a little bit here. Oh, oh. they put they changed the clock. It is point four seconds left in the first half of the game. Oh, four seconds. Oh, four seconds, yes. Alright. Plenty of time left. Two. Gonna have to be a buzzer beater. And it oh, is you can't quite get it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first half for your Time and Tigers with the halftime score of Time and Leading Niagara Falls 33 to 24. See you in the second half.
蛮吵的。All right, everyone. My name is Patrick Mann,、uh, the Magister, and I am joined here with Henry Mon.、Uh, Montalvo, Montalvo,、uh, for your halftime report,、uh, Henry. What do you think about the game so far? I think that everything has been going pretty well. How about you? Yeah, no, the 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 Tigers look strong. They they got off to a strong start. You know,、mm-hmm. they had、uh, about twenty three points in the beginning of the of the he-、uh, the first quarter. Slowed down a little bit in the second quarter, but they they look strong.、Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think they?、Uh, what what are they struggling with? What are they、uh, doing well? I honestly think their shots are being taken well.、Um, they're definitely calling their plays very well.、Um, yeah, most of the stuff they're doing is actually going very well, and they're doing it very precisely. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And you know, they they're getting into a little bit of foul trouble. It's not the most disciplined game of basketball, but it's early in the year.、Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Oh, but Henry, so you are a freshman at Timon. How has your first You know, a couple months at the school gone. It's been pretty well, actually. I've made a lot of friends, and、um, a lot of the teachers enjoy my company. Oh, do we?、Mm-hmm. Oh, that's news to me. That's news to you. No, I'm just kidding. I、I'm、was going to say、you. I'm teasing you.、Uh, what has what has been some of your favorite parts of the school? Like, what what do you love most about Timon so far?、Um, mainly, I just like the people there.、Um, I like the classes, I like the people,、um, the ability to learn and meet like people in a normal setting is just. Very unique about Timon. Like you don't get many chances to meet people in school either because you're rushing around to classes within like 30 minutes or so. Like they they give you like a five minute break, and then you just gotta rush to class.、Um, here you can like t- take a second to talk with your friends out in the hall before you have to go to the nearest class or you have to go to your class. And I think that's very special about Timon. I enjoy Timon because I get to. Conversate with people that I normally don't. Yeah, and it's a very wide variety of、um, classes to do. Camera class. You've got different languages. I know you teach Latin. I'm a Latin teacher. Are, are you in Spanish? I'm in Spanish. Yes. So break break down that decision. Why why did you choose Spanish instead of Latin? What 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 was it about me that just didn't didn't <laughs> didn't work? It wasn't anything about you. <laughs> Um, I was originally going to choose Latin actually, but the thing was, I didn't expect to be placed into Spanish. I chose Latin as the class that I wanted to take because it was the language that stems from all languages stem from Latin. It's literally the birthplace of English and any language you can think of. So I was thinking, hey, if I take Latin, then take ooh, Spanish in college, maybe I'll be able to get the hang of it a lot quicker. Yeah. It'll be a lot easier, you know. Smart strategy, but they just put you in Spanish.、Eh, they just threw me in Spanish. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Well, you know, the Tigers are back out for warmups. We got a couple minutes before uh, the um, before the half begins. What do you think the Tigers need to do to to you know protect this lead and bring home the W? Um. So definitely, I see a lot of um, I see a lot of in that second in the beginning of that second quarter. I saw a lot of um. Defense struggle, and the way they were just letting them get inside was not great. I think they should probably make sure that the inside is way more protected by keeping the outside, by keeping the players outside.、Um, if they can do that, then I think they have a pretty straight win. Yeah, I agree, and I, I think you know forcing Niagara Falls to take tougher shots, have them miss, get those rebounds, control the ball, you know. Use up the clock now. They with with a half. You got the lead. You just want to maybe slow down the game a little bit. <coughs> make sure the ball stays in your hands, and you make your shots.、Mm-hmm. So,、uh, you know, yeah. Hope the Tigers Tigers can pull this one out. Most definitely.、Um, and you know, I'm feeling good. I, I they there's something special about this team. They、mm-hmm. it's a special group of guys that I think they they're, they're going to go all the way this year. So,、uh, I think we are probably going to leave the、uh, halftime report as the as we get ready. For the Time and Tigers to take on the the Niagara Falls in the second half.、Um, thank you for listening, for everyone out there, and we will see you in the future. Go Tigers!
Hi, this is this is we are back with Brendan Bohr and Ashton Soto, bringing you the second half of Niagara Falls versus Bishop Timon. All right, it is 33 to 24 coming out of half. Timon in the lead. It is going to be Niagara Falls' ball to start off. Mike Gibson checking into the game there. He got up in the huddle. Looks like he's going to be in the starting lineup coming into the second half of the game. It looks like it's going to be a pretty similar lineup to the first uh, portion of the game. Let's see if there's going to be any momentum changes. All right, here we go. We have John Strong planning on passing it in. All right, John Strong on the pass in to Nick Estelle. Jacob Pumphrey on the coverage. Nick Estelle driving down the court. And Deep corner three. three is no good, but Mike Gibson with the rebound to Kai Harris. Kai Harris to Jake. Jane Harrison. Nine now. For two, and it is in. Jacob Humphrey to Joey and Sarah. Joey Wait. and Sarah. Oh, it is. It, it looks like it's going to be Tiger's time, ball. Timon's ball here. Kai Harris with the missed attempt. Uh, An easy two points there for Niagara Falls. What was Timon thinking on that defense? On that defense. Jacob Humphrey with the ball here. He's going to pass off to Mike Gibson to Kai Harris. Kai Harris for deep three. It that is, is good. In. It is good. It looks like this is going to be a close game. It's going to be a shootout here. And it's a low scoring game. Oh, deep three by Niagara Falls. Number 10. Sh strong. Ephraim strong on that three ball. Jacob Humphrey passes it to Kai Harris. The mid-range floater is good. Two. All right. Niagara Falls with the ball here. Pass it off to number one, Rollins. Rollins passes it off. To Strong. It looks like Nick Estelle there. And it is going to be a whistle. It looks like it's a foul on Niagara Falls there. The coach for Niagara Falls does not like that call. He doesn't look happy, period. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. It looks like Jacob Humphrey on the pass in to Kai Harris. Back to Jacob Humphrey. Jacob Humphrey with the ball. Pass it off to Jaden Harrison. Kai Harris, back to Jaden Harrison, back to Kai Harris. Kai Harris for a deep three, and it is it's in. Good. 41 to 31. They're in a little bit of a drought right here. Down by 10, 10 point drought. Let's see if they could break that drought. Let's see if they could put up some points here. Oh, oh, he loses it. Luckily, his teammate was there to make the rebound. And everyone's on the floor diving for the ball. And Jacob Humphrey wanted a travel call. But it, it was a foul on Jacob All right, it's going to be Niagara Falls ball here. Number 10 for Niagara Falls. Strong passing it in. Jaden Harrison is going to be on the coverage right there. What do you think of the shot attempts by Niagara Falls? I mean, they're... In the first quarter, they were a little bit deep. They were just bouncing off the rim. They're starting to make the shots now. Seems like the coach got... Oh, another deep three. It is just off. It was in and out there. Don't you think that the coach in the locker room, he probably said something like, guys, we have to make more inside shots. We have to attempt more inside shots. That's what they're 
plant. That's what they're doing right now. Yeah, they want to shorten the lead by time in here. And they're only down by 10. This is a very close game. Still a lot of basketball playing time left. All right, let's see here. Oh, Nicholas it Stell on the pass in, and it looks like it's going to be out on timing. Joey and Sarah, his back was faced away from ball, so he wasn't aware that the ball was right there. All right, so Nick Estelle is going to be on the pass in again. Jacob Humphrey with the coverage. Passes it off to Gilmore. Gilmore oh, puts it up for two. he has it. Number 31, Duran Gilmore there. Jacob Humphrey. To Jaden Harrison. Back to Jacob Humphrey. Back to, to Nakai Harris. Harris. To Jaden Harrison. Driving down. Puts it up for it's two. It's good. Ten point lead oh, again. Like Jacob Humphrey steals it. Passes it off to Jaden Harrison for three. Oh, oh, he can't quite get it in. Niagara Falls driving down the court. Number 10 strong. It is just off. And he took a charging. And he took a charging. Jaden Harrison was down there for a second. The foul was on Jaden Harrison. He tried to set a screen so Niagara Falls could get a whistle called on them. But it actually reversed and a whistle was called on time. And All right, let's see. And this first one is in. It is good. That will shorten the lead. The lead is now by nine. Second shot, it is up, and it is good. good. Puts they, it up by two. The lead is just now by eight by Bishop Time and St. Jude. They were two and two at that attempt. Jacob Humphrey. To, to Kai Harris. To Jaden Harrison. Back to Kai Harris. He's inside. Joey, Joey and Sarah, Sarah almost loses it. To Mike Gibson, it oh, is blocked. blocked. John Strong with the ball for Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is getting a lot of rebounds. Niagara Falls, number 10, strong. He loses it, picks it back up. Driving down the court to number 12. Oh, oh. it is in and out. Number 12 did not like that oh. there. He was frustrated. They get the ball oh. back, and it is in for two from number 10, strong. Here's some deep. Oh, oh, it is in. 46 to 37. Your Time and Tigers leading by nine. So number 10 strong. Passes it off. He goes for another. He goes for a deep three himself. Air ball. It looks like it's going to be Timon's ball here with Jaden Harrison on the pass in. Jacob Humphrey is right there to receive it. There's a whistle on the on play. The, there is three fouls for Timon so far in this half. All right, so they're gonna. Oh, Continue Jacob Humphrey passes it into Jaden Harrison. Jacob Humphrey got the ball now. Pass to it Kai off to Harris. Kai Harris. Back Jayden to Jaden Harrison. Harrison. Has it. Mike Gibson has it. He pump faked it to Jacob Humphrey. Wrap around. Kai Harris back to Jacob Humphrey. Jacob Humphrey for a deep three. Oh, he can't. Mike Gibson with it. the rebound. Joey, Joey and Sarah. Sarah. Oh. He almost got it. And it is Niagara and it is going Niagara Falls' way. Alright, they're looking to lower the lead here. See what they could do. To strong. to strong. Strong to strong. To Stell. To oh. oh! It is a foul. That was in Sarah there looking for a foul. And it and was he called. He gets it. Timeout falls. Timeout Niagara falls. Their first timeout of this first or of the second half. What do you think of the defensive game by Niagara Falls? Their defense stepped up here in this um, second half. First half, they were a little looking shaky. Their offense was looking also a little bit shaky. Their team's starting to come together here. Timon needs to extend their lead here. 
or this is just going to be a shootout all game and it's going to come down to the last final seconds of this game. Yes, you are absolutely right there, Ashton. I mean, the refs are the refs are calling a lot of fouls on Tymon. Tymon just and that's not what Tymon's looking for. Tymon's looking to keep their lead probably at least by 10 points. All right. Let's see if if Tymon has right. any sub substitutions. Tymon's coming out of the huddle. Their lineup looks the same. All right, so no substitutions. Exactly. They've been keeping the same players out there a lot. Nakai Harris, Jacob Humphrey, and Jaden Harrison, they've been their main three out there tonight. They've been working very well together. A lot of good communication. And Joey and Sarah has been putting up some points there, too. Ashton, we haven't seen a lot of players yet for Timon. Timon, Timon seems to be running the same close five. Yeah, Aaron Hicks was in there for a couple minutes. Same he checked out in the Damian second. Johnson. And Damian Johnson. They checked out at halftime, and they have not been in the game since, I think, the third, the beginning of the third. We haven't seen Renicki or Fisher yet. All right, Mike Gibson. Off to Kai Harris. Joey, Joey and Sarah. Sarah. Jacob Humphrey. Mike it's Gibson. Jaden Harrison. Up for two. They Off the rim. Like oh. Oh, Jacob, Jacob Humphrey. Humphrey. And he bounces in and out. Niagara Falls driving down, and it's oh block. a block by Jaden Harrison there. What about these blocks? Yeah, there's been a there's been about three blocks in the game so far. Niagara Falls had a nice block earlier in the game. The time in offense is a little bit shaky right now. They haven't scored in a little bit. Niagara Falls went for a deep three. Rebound by Kai, Kai Harris. Harris. Jaden Harrison has it. Oh, oh he, and he loses falls it. To he the slips. Ground. And he can't quite get it. And it is blocked Gilmore by Mike Gibson. Gilmore, Gilmore gets his own rebound. And it no. is no good, but he is going for two at the line. We've seen um, Niagara Falls switch up their line quite a bit. Nick Estelle and John Strong have been there, in there for they've been their main two, and other and um, Ephraim Strong also. But other than that, they've been switching in and out a lot, substituting players. Oh, it seems to be Damian Johnson is coming into the game for the Tigers. Gilmore misses his first extra point. Damian Johnson checks Mike Gibson out of the game. Let's see if Damian Johnson still could hit those long balls. Darian, Darian Gilmore here for his second, number 31. And he puts it up, and it is No good. Off. Okay, Jaden J Harrison with the rebound. Oh, a nice little lob back. Kai Harris. And it is out on Kai, Kai Harris. Harris. He wasn't aware of the, Kai of Harris the line. Kai Harris just lost his footing there, and he wasn't aware of the line. Sometimes players forget that. Yeah, they just... They just uh, lose their footing. Forget the lines right behind them. Nick Estelle with the ball here. Jane Harrison on the coverage. John Strong. There's a foul. There's a whistle. Yeah, and there's it a is foul on Niagara Falls. It's going to be Bishop Time and St. Jude's ball here. One minute and 41 seconds left in the third. This game feels like it's flying by right now. Yes, it does. Jacob Humphrey passes it to Damian Johnson. Ja back to Jacob Humphrey. Jaden Harrison. Nakai Harris. Damian Johnson for a deep three. It and is he good. Gets it. He gets it. 49 to 37. Time in leading by 12. That's Damian Johnson's favorite shot on the court is those deep threes. And he finally hits his first one of the night. Oh, Damian Johnson steals it. To Jacob Humphrey. Back to Damian Johnson. Oh, and, and it, it is, is a lob in. By Nakai Harris. Timeout Niagara Falls, their second of the second half here. Oh, 
Okay, this so, so Timon has str strength in their lead here. I mean, Timon is just looking great out there tonight, and so is Niagara Falls. They're both great-looking teams. It's a shootout right now. It's going to come down to the last possession of the game, and we're going to see what happens. You know, all right now it's a mental game. Right now it's just a big old mental game. Like, like let's say if I'm, I'm on the Tigers and you're on Niagara Falls, I'm doing good, but I just know you're probably doing, I know you're doing better mentally. Like, and, like, you think that I'm doing better. Like, it's just, it's just the, I like, think, mental battles. I think Timon's th leaving their lineup out there just because how well they're working together right now. That's why they've kept, kept the same lineup for almost all game. I and mean, they, successful. They've substituted a couple players every now and then. They put Aaron Hicks in there for a couple minutes. Damian Johnson, who's in right now for his second time of the game. They've made small adjustments, but nothing too crazy. Jacob Humphrey and Jaden Harrison and Joey and Sarah. Have We've been seen in. no Nick Fisher tonight. We've seen a lot of him in the last game versus Bennett. Same with uh, Alex from Nicky. We've yeah. seen a lot of him last game, but we haven't seen him this game at all. Yeah, we have Alex from Nicky and Nick Fisher have. I don't think they've seen the court once tonight. Joey and Sarah are doing well with... Joey and Sarah has been checked in almost all game. John Strong with the ball. John Strong driving down the court. He goes up. The floater is it's no good. Joey and Sarah with the rebound. Off to Jaden Harrison. Sees Nakai Harris there. Deep three. And Gets it is. And Nakai Harris' three-point shots tonight have been amazing. 17-point lead. Niagara Falls passes it off here. Johnny and Sarah gets the Joe rebound. And Sarah. Damian Johnson to Jaden Harrison. To, to Nakai Harris. Harris for another deep three. Oh, oh and he almost gets it in, but he can't quite get it. It was in and out. And it is Niagara Falls' ball. You can see Coach Rose's reaction there. He, he thought that was going in. That should have been in. It bounced in and out. Kai, Kai Harris has been very good with those tonight. 17 seconds left in the third. See if Niagara Falls can put something together here before the third ends. I wonder what Coach Jason Rowe is Niagara thinking Niagara Falls about. driving it, pass it to 10, number 10 strong. Off to number one, Rollins. D buzzer beater in. And he can't off. quite get it in. Damian Johnson with the coverage there. And that is the end of the third quarter, fourth quarter, on your way. Timon was looking great yes, in that are. third quarter. Started off a little bit slow coming out of the half. Sped up there. Kept their good, healthy lead. Niagara Falls needs to capitalize on these plays they're getting. What about uh, these uh, play formations? Coach Jason Rowe is calling a lot of different plays. Yeah, you can see him on the sidelines signaling a lot of different plays. He's been very into the team. He's kept the same, like we've been saying, the same lineup out there almost all game. A couple and that's a shock. Small substitutions. Yeah, last game he was substituting a lot of people out. Alex Rodnicki seen a lot of playing time. Nick Fisher seen a lot of playing time. Even Jason Huff seen a lot of playing time. Aaron Hicks, he's been in, what, like a minute tonight? Nah, he's been in for like maybe... Like, yeah, maybe a half of a quarter. Five yeah, minutes. Yeah, like see five too much. minutes. All right. Let's see if they made any substitutions here. And nope. Same lineup. Jaden Harrison, Damian Johnson, Joey and Sarah, Jacob Humphrey, and Kai Harris. But out they're there. doing very well with this lineup. They, they are succeeding so well. This I mean, is Joey and Sarah's first year on varsity, and he's already making a... He's a, making a statement out there tonight. Yeah, he's making a big statement out there. He's changing the team. Yeah, today, Joey and Sarah, he's played a great, great game. He's been using his height to his advantage, getting rebounds. Jacob Humphrey on the coverage on Nick Estelle. Nick Estelle and John Strong 
and that BM Strong have seen a lot of playing time. Number 31, Darren Gillen has also. All right, John Strong here. Off to Darian Gilmore. Darian Gilmore going up for two. And he Ooh. can't quite Darian get it. Darian Gilmore gets his own rebound there. Puts it up again. He can't off quite again. get it. Oh, and it is. It is. Puts it up it again. And it is time. off again. Darian Gilmore with the rebound. Oh, and, and finally, he finally gets it in. After four attempts there. Luckily, they kept getting those Jayden rebounds. Jaden Harrison has the ball. Oh, rolls around to Jacob Humphrey Jacob with the Humphrey wide goes. open three. Oh, oh, he can't quite get it. All right, here we go. Damian Johnson gets gets it. Keeps and it he almost gets it. He tried to keep it in bounds there. Couldn't do it. He was, he was on his way to the ground, hitting the court. He tried to throw it in. It was just off a little bit. All right, here we go here. This game has been very entertaining. All right. Niagara Falls passing it in. Ooh. We got a whistle. Oh, a whistle. It seems to be, and it goes Niagara Falls' Falls way, away. so it is a foul on timing. Already one foul, and we're not even a minute into the game. And into the fourth quarter, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. So D D Dyer Wallace. Darian Gilmore passes it off to number 10, Strong. Number 12. Oh. Goes up for two. It and is he gets in. It with the floater from the free throw line. Oh, Jaden oh, Harrison Jayden. wide open. Oh, Ooh. and he gets it. And there was a foul on the play. So Jaden Harrison is going to be at the line there. Jaden Harrison, number three, has a chance to get a three point play. All right. Jaden Harrison. He was, he's usually really good at the line. Yes. Yes. As uh, Jaden Harrison, he's a member of the Thousand Point Scorers Club. If you don't know, he has a chance to score 2,000 points this season. All right, Jaden Harrison putting up his first one. And oh. it is just off. Bounces off the back of the rim. Strong gets it. And it is a deep three. Oh, just off. Damian Johnson rebound. with the rebound. Pass it to Joey and Sarah. Pass it to Jaden Harrison. Jaden oh. Harrison. And it is a foul. And he is at the line. Jaden Harrison, second time at the line. Two foul. This Niagara Falls hasn't gotten a lot of fouls, really, this game. They've had a couple, but definitely. um. Not as much as Timon. Yeah, Timon's had a lot tonight. All right. They're close to, like, Jaden Harrison. 15 fouls. First one is off the back of the rim again. All right. Jaden Harris is going to put up his second shot here. Here he goes. Jaden Harrison. And his second one is in. Strong is going to pass it in here. They need to, Niagara Falls needs to produce something out of this, out of this drive down right, the Nick court. Nick Estelle has the ball. Passes it off to number 10, Strong. Oh, it's a oh, fast break. Jacob Humphrey for two. Oh, and he gets it in. They are leading by 18 right now. Bishop Timon. Six minutes left. Oh, oh, a collision happens there. And oh. Nick Estelle and, and Jacob Humphrey went flying down to the ground. Okay, who is at the line here? It looks like Damian Johnson. And they had to clean up the court. Drying the court here. Yes, that is. That is, they need to clean out this court. <laughs> because. They're just drying to make yeah. sure players don't slip. Yeah, because if they slip, it could be a really bad. It could be an injury also. Yeah, injury. It could just cost the game. Stuff like that. 
All right. I mean, no one wants their favorite star right. player to get injured. Oh, passing it in from Niagara Falls to Gil. To Estelle. To Strong. Strong puts it up. It is off. Rebounded by Damian Johnson. Pass break. Puts it up for two. And it he gets it in. 61 to 41. By 20 Kai point Harris. lead. Kai Harris is having a great game tonight. Yes, he is. Yes, he absolutely is. Up for two. Who's it out oh, on there? Oh, and it is Niagara Falls' ball. Let's see who is going to, is going to be Nick Castell, the one the powerhouses for this team, taking the pass in. I was expecting this game to be a little bit closer than it is right now, but Tymon has just been lighting up in this fourth quarter. All right, Niagara Falls passing it in. To it's John Strong. Oh, what was that defensive formation right there? Rollins with the two points. Jacob Humphrey has the ball. Damian oh, Johnson. It's to a high Damian pass Johnson. There. Oh, it's a Kai, Kai Harris. Harris. Joey and Sarah is asking for the ball. All right, Jaden Harrison has the ball. Joey. The screen by Joey. Oh, oh it's going to be out. But um, it is still Tyron's ball. ball. All right. Looks like another timeout was called. What do you think that Coach Jason Rowe is going to talk about? I think um, he's going to tell them to keep doing what they're doing out there. Maybe change up a little bit. He's got some more players in the huddle here, so maybe. He's going to change up their defense a little bit, maybe. Their defense needs to start um, capitalizing a little bit more on the rebounds. I mean, Niagara Falls has been great with getting their rebounds back. But, I mean, he has a couple more players in the huddle there. Maybe he's going to substitute, change it up a little bit. Hopefully we get to see Fisher or Renicki in the game. They've been statement players. Especially Fisher out there. Fisher looked great last game. He looked good in the warm-ups. He looked good in the practice drills. So speaking of practice, uh, have you heard that Jane Harrison got an interview? Yes, I saw. News? Yeah. If you didn't see that yet, check it out on WKBY. All w. right. Uh, now we are back to the game. It is going to be Tyron Tiger's ball with Jacob Humphrey passing it in. Tyron oh. made no changes. Niagara Falls nearly made a play there. Tyron is with Damian the Johnson with a deep five. three. Woo! It is good. Woo! Five minutes left in this fourth. Oh! The fast break. Oh, oh and, and he gets it, Jacob Humphrey for the slam. Jacob, Jacob Humphrey there. All right. To oh, oh Rollins with it. So almost got it. Oh, and Jaden Harrison is down. And he got right back up. All right. He's going to be at the line here. It's a 20 point, 21 point lead for Timon. Four minutes and 30 seconds left. If Timon, if Timon's defense could contain, this could be their second win of the season. Yeah, Timon going 2 0 at the start of the season. It would be a great start for them. It'll, it'll make a statement, especially in the later games. You have Joe's, uh, Canisius, Francis, Fra Franny's, uh, so these ones are actually most important, so they could set themselves up for later wins and possibly going back to back. All right. Once again, the refs were drying off the court there. Don't want any collisions, scary All right, incidents. All right, here we go. And it is good. Timon's ball here. Okay, Kai, Kai Harris. Harris has it. Back to Jacob Humphrey. Damian Johnson. Kai Harris to Joey and Sarah. Jacob Humphrey up for two, and, it and is he gets and it. 
Jacob Humphrey has been scoring. He's been in this game for probably the longest. Same yeah, I would Jaden say. Harrison and Nakai Harris. And also, Oh, course, Joey and Sarah with the rebound. Speaking of Joey and Sarah, he's just so, he's doing so well. Yeah. With the passing, screening. Jacob Humphrey to defense. Damian Johnson. Kai Harris going up. And he can't quite get it, and it is too late for Joey and There's Sarah a whistle. to score. All right. Looks like Kai Harris is at the line down there. Oh, and he can't first quite get the first attempt. Off the back of the rim. And the second shot. It's in. So it was one of two at the line for Nakai Harris, who has right. had a statement game. And he it gets it over Nick Joey Nick Estelle. And Jacob Humphrey has it, pumps it. Over to Damian Johnson. Damian Johnson driving down the court, puts it up for two, and it is in. You have Rollins with the ball. Rollins goes for a deep three. And, and he it gets is it. Good. What a shot by Rollins. 20 point lead for Time and Tiger, 71 to 51. Well, Mario and Rollins has had a great game himself. For oh, the Joey and Sarah it gets a shot blocked by into, Strong. The, into the Time and Tiger's bench. All right, Damian Johnson with the ball. The Kai Harris has it. Kai Harris. Jaden Harris. Oh, and, and he gets. Oh, Rollins that was a down. nice one. 74 to 51. What a statement play for Tyman. That was a nice play by Kai Harris and then pass over to Jaden Harris and Jaden Harris. That's what Coach Jason Rowe needs to do. He needs to make plays like that. That's just awesome. Jaden Harrison made a great shot there after Kai Harris. And a timeout by Niagara Falls. Let's see if any substitutions are going to be made. I'm surprised none of the time players have gotten like tired yet or anything like that. They just found so much momentum. Yeah. All right. So Timon has a 23 point lead here. What a statement game for Timon. All right, there is two minutes and 47 seconds left in this last quarter of the game. Let's see if Niagara Falls can get something going to try to take this one. But Timon is just looking great out there. They're hard to slow down. Don't forget about uh, Coach Howard Washington and Coach Matthew Weiser. They're of course, they're playing an awesome role in this. But the main two Pass are just Coach Howard Washington and Coach Jason Rowe. Number 20, Farrell, has checked in for the Hurricanes. Niagara Falls. Jay Harrison. Jay Harrison. Oh, oh, it is just off. They get the rebound. They put it up. Jacob Humphrey Jacob got the put Humphrey. there. But that would have been an awesome play for the Tigers. Passes it on. Oh. Niagara Falls gets the rebound. And it seems like we're going to have a brand new five. If you guys look in the back there, it looks like a new lineup is getting ready to come out for the Bishop Time and Tigers. Alex, Alex Wernicke, Nick Fisher. Jason Huff is in there. Jason Huff. Timeout. Aaron, Aaron Hicks. The Tigers took their timeout. I think the Tigers feel confident with their lead. They're going to put a whole new lineup in the game. They got Aaron Hicks in there, Alex Rudnicki, Nick Fisher, Jason Huff. And, and Zaire Wallace. All right. 
Let's see how this second lineup does for the Time and Tigers. I think Coach Jason Rowe did that. Niagara Falls so has also checked some new players into the game here. I think Coach Mason Pat Mason with a hard pass to number four Walker. Ashton, I think Coach Jason Rowe set in a brand new five because he was probably thinking to himself, "Well, a I want to let these players play, and also I want rest." Oh, a block! Oh. Aaron Hicks passes it off to Jason Huff. Oh, and he can't quite get the layup in. And it is a far pass, and it is time and Tigers ball. One minute and 25 seconds left. All right. Simon's probably going to start dribbling out a little bit of clock here. Nick and Fisher has the ball. And Nick Fisher has a lot of height there to use to Alex advantage. Alex Nicky for three. Oh, oh, and he can't quite get it in. And Nick Fisher tried to get a layup in. 110 left in the game. If, this, if, the, Tiger, if the Tigers offense works well with the All Tigers right, defense. Hoff passes it off to Aaron Hicks. Oh, and he, and Aaron Hicks can't quite get it in. Nick, Nick Fisher, Fisher oh. he gets his own rebound there. And just a reminder for all the Nick viewers. Nick Fisher is going to take two shots here. And just a reminder to all the viewers out there that after this game at 630 at Casanova Ice Rink Pavilion, there's going to be a time in hockey game. So today's a big day for Tiger Sports. All right, Nick Fisher misses his first shot. <gasps> oh, and he can't quite get it in. All right. Jason Huff. Oh, and Nick Fisher for two. He clock is running down. He finally gets one in. 44 seconds left. I think they should just let it run it out. Diamond's up by 30. 81 to 51. Oh, and it's just Aaron Hicks loses the ball. But who really cares Alex about Alex Aaron Hicks for a deep three, oh, air ball. Air balls it. All right, so Timon is going to be 2-0 and here on the season. Great start to the season for the Timon Tigers. Awesome start. And they have a tough game next week at Marytime. And they're just going to uh, time and crowd. dribble it out. Oh, we have a group of foul shots. Well, it doesn't right. really matter at this point. It was point. on Alex Rudnicki, his first foul of the game. Rudnicki is playing a little bit back. All right, his first shot is off. Rudnicki is trying to look for maybe a pass into a shot, which could be his first two of the game. All right, second shot. It is up. It is off again. Nick, Nick Fisher, Fisher on with the, the rebound. rebound. Traveling. There was a travel called on Nick Fisher. That was a kind of It looks like the Hurricanes are going to get the ball here. 14 seconds left in the game. All right, Hurricanes. Hurricanes look like they're just dribbling it out. Yep. All right, they're going to take a final shot. It is off, and the game and the Tigers comes to an end. And the Tigers win 81-51 to 51 at home. This was Brendan Moore and Ashton Soto bringing you the game. Go Tigers.